chilling scares, man. Um, hope y'all have a wonderful Thursday. Um, good morning. I'm going ahead and get out the video, man. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. I ain't got nothing to say today, man. man hopefully, I have a good Thursday. <clears throat> In April 2019, a YouTuber named Jason uploaded a video to his channel, Abbey Mountain Trekkers, in which he recorded footage of his solo overnight trip to the mountains. His channel is dedicated to all things outdoors, in which Jason frequently uploads videos of his adventures hiking, camping, and surviving in the woods. In this particular video, his hike up to the mountain is pretty uneventful, and as soon as he arrives at the campsite, Jason begins setting up his tent and shows his viewers how he starts a fire as the sun begins to set. As he waits for the day to end, he tries his luck at spoon carving, and this is when he reports hearing a strange sound coming from the top of one of the mountains, but he writes it off as a bird or some other small animal and continues setting up for the night. Okay. At about 9 o'clock, he turns his camera off to go to bed, but less than an hour later, he wakes up to a strange sound that he says he's never heard before in his life. He mentions it sounded like some sort of guttural animal call, but because it came from pretty far away, he couldn't identify what it was. I've never heard anything like that in my life. It sounded like a mix between a, almost like a pig. Some kind of, I'm not even, I hate to even say it, but a pig, an ape, and the calls almost sounded like how the velociraptors communicate with each other on Jurassic Park. I have never heard anything like that in my life. Can we hear? Still shaken after the rude awakening, he tries to go back to bed, but just a few hours later at around 1 a.m., he wakes up again to what he describes as the sound of something or someone circling his tent. No, hell no, it's bullish. Huh? Whatever it is, it's close. We can't hear it. It sounded like there was two or three of them that started <laughs> on the other side. Brother ain't got nowhere to go either. Went around my perimeter. He ain't got nowhere to go. If you look closely at the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, you can see the reflection of what appears to be one or two sets of eyes as he pans his flashlight over them. Although there are many animals with eyes that reflect light at night, based on the fiery white color of the reflection, it's very likely that Jason was being observed by wolves or coyotes. Dog's eyes will also give off a white reflection, but considering that it was around 1 a.m. when this happened, it's unlikely that a dog would be walking around in the mountains so close to his campsite. Coyote and wolf attacks on humans are rare, as both species tend to avoid human contact, but they can still become very aggressive if they feel threatened, especially if they have puffs nearby. If this were the case, Jason would be in grave danger, but chillingly, he doesn't even seem to notice the eyes watching him as he scans the area with his flashlight. <laughs> Luckily, he went back to his tent and slept safely through the night. When he woke up the next morning, he recorded another update for his viewers, but he never mentioned the eyes that his camera had captured the night before, suggesting he might have never noticed. After this video, there were no additional updates on the incident. Hell no. That's why you don't go, go eventually. We all know the stimulus checks were helpful, but now there's something better. The state is giving $6,400. In 2021, YouTuber Matt Field spent the night in a dark cave in the middle of nowhere in Australia after his friend told him about an unsettling experience he had in that cave and dared him to spend the night there alone. Matt's channel is a bit more extreme than other outdoor exploration channels, and his videos often feature him leaving civilization behind and going to remote locations for days, living only off the fishy catches in the animals. Shit, I'm about to look into that then. In the video, he mentions that he didn't bring any water to the trip, hoping to find water to drink in the cave. After about four hours of walking, yeah. he finally finds the cave and climbs down the man-made ladder inside. What? Venturing deeper inside the cave, Matt crawls into the different holes he finds to see if any of them lead anywhere. Around this time, he started hearing a couple of rocks falling near the entrance, and the sound of some sort of animal walking around. At one point in the video, he mentions he feels like he's being watched, and things get a little more disturbing at around 11pm when he begins to eat his baked beans for dinner. Mmm. That is beautiful. Baked beans. In a haunted cave. Oh my god. That was the sound. That is the sound. Did you hear that? Look at my, look at my arms. 
I've got four goosebumps. It's the chains moving when I climb down the ladder. Okay. It's a big, heavy, thick chain. Oh, wow. Wind can't move that. When Matt recorded this video, it wasn't a windy night at all, and the fact that the chain is moving can only mean that there's someone or something down there with him. That chain moved just then. It is 100% now. I heard it before. I'm 100% certain it's the chain that I walked in that you climbed down into this cave on. It's moving. Now, you can't move that chain with wind. It's way too heavy. There is no wind coming in here. There's no wind even for... Holy... Hell nah. How we had the fuck on? Fuck that, man. You must have heard that just then. You still in there? Alright. Look at my arms, dude. I don't love y'all that bad if you going no in the cage. I'm letting y'all know that now. I don't even ask me to go in nothing honey. Okay. Well, I've got my backpack back on. And I'm booted on Anvia. Oh, okay. I just heard a sound. Yeah. It's, it's not normal. It's definitely not a normal sound. And I'm scared. I'm not gonna lie, I've been a bit, it's probably about two hours, two and a half hours after I checked in with you guys, so it would be around two o'clock, one o'clock in the morning, and that sound was not normal. Um, I'm getting out of here. After the creepy noises subside, he changes his mind about leaving the cave and decides to spend the rest of the night near the entrance. A couple of hours later, he reported hearing hissing sounds that sounded like human voices, but after walking around the cave, he couldn't find anything that could be making those noises. Aside from big animals, the worst thing that could have happened to Matt is to have come across a hostile squatter living in the cave, although it's unclear why anyone would want to live down there. Fortunately, he made his way out of the cave safely as soon as the sun rose, and never went back to that cave again. Rody is a channel dedicated to off-the-grid living, in which the uploader usually posts videos about what life is like living out of his truck and traveling around the country. The videos are usually pretty cool, with an emphasis on the beauty of nature and independent living. But this particular video is a bit more disturbing than the rest. In December 2017, Rody uploaded footage of an incident that took place earlier that year while he was car camping in a parking lot. At around 1.30 a.m., a hooded man started walking around his truck and taking pictures of his license plates. Because the back of the truck where the uploader was sleeping was pretty much pitch black, the man probably didn't see anyone in there, continued to suspiciously walk around the truck for several minutes, unaware that he was being recorded. After a while, the man makes his way to the side of the truck and tries to shine the flashlight inside, which is when the uploader decides to take action to protect himself and let the man know he's there. Immediately after the uploader bangs his fist on the inside of the truck, the suspicious man runs away. It's unclear what exactly he planned to do, but based on his behavior, it could have been anything good, and he was probably planning a carjacking. Fortunately, the uploader was able to get away safely and spend the night elsewhere. Gary and Amica are a father-daughter duo from Scotland who make videos about their travels around Europe in their camper van. The videos are usually pretty wholesome and entertaining, but in this particular video, Gary and Amica had a pretty disturbing encounter. This footage was uploaded in March of 2023, during a trip to Tensmere Forest in North Fife, Scotland. As they were walking through the woods, Amica told her dad she heard voices somewhere near them, and after searching for a while, this is what they found. We just stopped and looked in these woods. What the fuck? Look how scary that is. Put the torch on. He's even on the ladders. Oh, he's doing, on the ground. Look at him on the ladders, going up the tree. Oh, yeah. What about the washing line over there to the left? Yeah, there. Keep it there. That is weird, isn't it? In addition to dozens of creepy mannequins dressed up in costumes, they came across some pretty unsettling paintings hanging outside the little cabin in the middle of the woods. I did some research and found several other channels that featured the strange cabin, but the only information I could find was that the mannequins and paintings were probably sent up there at some point in 2021. It's unknown what exactly the purpose of all this is, but whoever set it up clearly went through a lot of trouble to make it as creepy as possible. As Gary and Amica make their way out of the woods, a car starts to approach them from the other side, and Gary starts to get a little freaked out. 
Fortunately, they were able to make it back to the van without having to cross the car's path. As of this video's upload, there have been no further updates on the creepy discovery. Well, Looking for an unforgettable live stream well, experience? Your ass back, though. Welcome to Beagle. I'm tired of Beagle now. In 2018, a YouTuber named John uploaded this video to his channel, Lost Lakes, in which he posts about his backcountry camping adventures in Canada. The video was taken at around 3.30 a.m. at a remote location west of Chapleau, Ontario, where, according to John, there was no cell phone signal. Well, I am living every solo camper's nightmare right now. Um, there appears to be an animal of some kind pacing around my tent. It's the middle of the night. Follow up, and then around 3.30, it, uh, I started to hear this pacing sound. Why would I say something like that? And 45 minutes later, it's still it's pacing around out there. Considering he was camping in a remote location in the black bear capital of the world, it's very likely that there was a bear or some other large animal outside the tent. Although it's rare for bears to attack campers, it has been known to happen. Other animals, such as moose or wildcats, can also pose a threat to campers if they ever feel threatened or provoked. Hey, and in those cases, boy. a feeble camping tent won't offer a lot of protection against an angry... I swear to God, I did not know a fucking moose was fucking big paws. A moose is fucking huge in person. Oh my god. 600 pound animal. Just imagine. It's much more common for people to be harassed by other people than by animals. But in this case, the footsteps don't sound very human. Well, five, six people. To maintain sanity, John shows his viewers the things he brought along on his camping trip to protect himself against animals, which include a hatchet, bear spray, and an air horn. Near the end of the video, he mentions his car is right outside the tent, but he can't find his key and probably left it in the car. But in the end, he slept through the night safely. He never found out what exactly was walking around his tent that night. Probably didn't need to. Most campers will say they're more afraid of running into ill-intentioned people rather than aggressive animals on their camping trips. And this footage is the perfect example of why. No. Love Sundays is a channel run by a man named Sean who uploads videos of his solo camping adventures in the UK. <laughs> In a video he uploaded in September 2022, he shows what happened one night when he camped on the side of the road in Cornwall. Technically, he wasn't supposed to be camping there due to parking regulations, so he made every effort possible to make it seem less obvious that he would be spending the night on the side of the road. Before the sun sets, he goes into his van and starts making dinner, making as little noise as possible to avoid unwanted attention. At around 9pm, he turns off the lights and goes to bed. Everything seems to be going just fine. But at around 2 a.m., Sean's night takes a pretty unsettling turn. I'm not gonna go back to sleep in a minute, man. Ah, oh, damn. Motherfucker try to get in? What the fuck? Oh, hell no. Nah. I'll be scared than a motherfucker. You better get your ass in that motherfucker driver's seat to haul ass, sir. My friends, hey, hey. Okay. My nigga, and his windows and shit. They, they literally tried to get in the van. Man, it was okay. just a knock and they were trying their handle. Fuck it's not uncommon for solo campers to be asked to move somewhere else in the middle of the night, especially when you're parked somewhere where you're not supposed to be. But in this case, it's highly unlikely that this was a police officer or some other person with the authority to tell him to move, as in these cases, they would almost always knock first and announce themselves verbally. Once they have your attention, they'll ask you to leave, but they won't just walk up to a van on the side of the road and start trying the door handle without announcing their intentions. Yeah, no. It's much more likely that someone was trying to break into Sean's van. Luckily, whoever was trying to break in left after only a few seconds, and Sean wasn't bothered by them again. These kinds of encounters can be extremely disturbing, but luckily Sean woke up the next morning unharmed and was on his way to his next destination shortly after. Chilling scares, man. Chilling scares, man. You did it again. Um, I'm gonna bring y'all uh, probably a new video Saturday. Um, tomorrow probably gonna be a that chapter video. I don't know which video. I don't know. That is it. Give me a thumbs up. Let's cross the album for the next video. Let's ride, man. Season three is gonna drop you low. The bitch is gonna let it blow. Free your head down to your toe. Don't wipe your nose. The way little buddy got dead, you'll think he had a cold. Gonna zip him up. Cause I can get you touched. No matter what city you in. From the east to the west, we walk him and gun him down.
Big low bit pee for real. I be the trench late night, thinking with some killers that bang for pee for real. Say free the boozy, my doggy doing life. Thank God for me, Lucille.